hold on, Tad Leash. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I'm dealing with one tether. One tether at a time. All right. So go ahead. So I'm trying now. to understand now. You say the chalk lasts for a few days. I can take yeah. I can take the jab. I can take the flies. Right, eating, right. Uh, yeah, the, yeah. Because uh, like the the fly the larvae. Go. But now the, fly, I need to the larvae. That you guys don't. How long does, now? What's going how on? long the fly eggs? How long does the fly larva lay on your your scalp when the flies land on you? How long does that lay? <laughs> Before you Let, let's, make, let's make it a day. Let's make it a day for argument's sake. But I need to understand: Do you guys bath now? Do you leave that hair like that chalk for like four days? Does the, that doesn't mean like you guys don't bath for like four days once you have a fresh haircut or what? No, no, no. Sometimes the chalk is on there for a couple of days and then it washes off. Um, no, but you have to wash it off. When you say it washes off, it means by miraculous things it then washes off. So I'm trying to understand: Do you wash it? Do you have to wait before you start washing the weave, or uh, what, what, what? Is there like a, a routine? You know how women do like facial no, no. routines at night. Do you guys like before you bought? You need to. And, 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 and speaking of going to sleep at night, and by the way, speaking of going to sleep at night, how do you guys use stocking caps? Do you use whole pillowcases for a stocking cap over the big forehead? We don't. We, we don't. We don't wear dukes. We, those are okay. Dukes. Right. Right. That's a woman thing. Waves. We don't wear dukes. Y'all don't. Yeah. Y'all don't have waves, so y'all don't really sleep with stocking caps because y'all don't really have enough hair to lay down. So yeah. No. Pepper, you, you know. You know. Pepper, a wave is the most you, wildest thing, by the way, um, right. because we need to understand why you guys are so obsessed. With just getting curly hair, with no, 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 it's just what's wrong, what's to, wrong have, with your to have done hair. hair no, 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 to have hair looking crisp and fresh. I know that getting haircuts and waves and fades that's foreign. Like, oh, what are you doing? It is magic, but no, that's how to, to look presentable. You're not supposed to walk around with a big forehead and peppercorn edges. You're not supposed. By to the do way, that. you know, you know, we, we take we take waves as the most ghettoest thing from America that has ever been given to the world but but because, the ghetto but sir the ghetto is better than your village that's no full- it's not <laughs> oh yes it is no it's not oh that, that's I, I'll, take that's a, I'll take a ghetto over a musty shanty town any damn day all right but give, but you see, give me a ghetto you're not this man you're question. not at liberty to call nobody ghetto living in a shanty town all right no with must and flies i'm cool i'll take ghetto give me ghetto for 200, Alex. I'll take ghetto. Yes, indeed. But anyway. Um, but honestly my- speaking, honestly speaking, I, I, I'm generally asking as African particularly, trying to understand why why do you guys have like these female-like routines when it comes to your hair? Um, we don't. You know, we groom our hair like men. What's female-like is getting out and sunned on your homeland as a man and it's more of you. you know what's female is when you have to spray there's your nothing more made than that you want to talk about big behavior when you're a 90 percent of the population nah, that's fine but you no 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 hold on oh you open that door let's walk in it you open the door let's walk in it nothing is more made than being 90 percent of the population and 10 percent of the people can come and smack you around like a hoe what's made than that malone a hairline that you spray on that's what's yeah, and that's you what need, i'm trying to understand you why do you have to draw your need to spray on help the white people are beating me you need to spray that so more y'all get together and get them white supremacists off your ass all right but you see right. uh, that, that's the misconception you have just because you no, don't no. understand the politics Dude, you know you know we've been over there all right you want to talk about spray? Y'all spraying on cake soap on your face with all of them skin bleaches over there. Your body black. No, is that's Nigeria. Nigeria. No, that's is... y'all too. No, that's y'all too. Y'all spray. If you, if you come to South Africa, bleach. you'll understand that we're one of the most uh, in when it comes to culture. Oh, I want to hear this when it comes to culture. What? Y'all spraying on that damn you, cake. Stop, stop muting. Stop muting and I can tell. Uh, go okay. ahead, sir. Sorry. You dropped some bushmeat so, on your phone. Go ahead. No, bushmeat is fine. I mean, I heard about raccoon soup. All of a sudden, you you went quiet. Dude, I've but, been over there to them townships. I see what you cook over there now. Let's yeah, we cook, we, cook, we, we cook some, some grits, as you would call it. Grits, uh, nothing. You, grits, you guys, nothing. No, that ain't no damn grits. Y'all got pap. Y'all got that pap. And them giraffe tails. That's what y'all got in Bush. You understand that giraffe is, is a delicacy. Raccoon, on the other hand, is I don't, don't know. Eat, I don't know. We don't eat no rat. damn raccoon. We don't we eat. You know you do. You know that's why. That's why you got to get that hairline because sir, you know, that. Rat-
you're eating all them wildebeest backs, and that's why your hairline got the peppercorn energy. You can't fade it, no matter how hard you try. Y'all be going to the barbershop over there with pictures of FBA. Cut my hair like Nelly, nigga. I want to look like Nelly. Give me a 50 seat. Y'all be trying to get your hair cut like us, and the clippers don't be working on that peppercorn. And we, we don't, don't have the weaves. We don't have the weaves, so we don't do but, that. Uh, your women, you, know, you can't afford it, and your women got the Oh, so now you admit that we can't afford it, meaning that you right. guys actually use weaves for your hair. Well, that's you projecting. That's you projecting because you I'm think not projecting I'm anything. I, I don't. I don't wear a weave. You th- and that's what I'm you, yes, you. Well, you Why projecting. is it such a thing in America you, that men wear weaves? Well, that's you. You've got, you've, you've got an Indian woman's you, hair. You, because you think hairlines and robust hair is magic. It's foreign to you, sir. It's magic when you got to spray it on. No, it's magic when you can't grow it, and you can't because of the bush meat. All right, you got to get your diet together, sir. You got to eat better. You can't be out there eating antelope knuckles. That's why you have antelope knuckles are a delicacy. That's what I'm telling you. If you actually That's, go look your at my hair, hair won't grow you'll actually be, you don't have the right diet. The fact that sir. you got to make raccoon soup. You, the hair won't grow because your diet is poor, sir. You can't project all of these weave fantasies onto us. You want a weave. You just can't afford it because you can't get your hair like ours naturally. And you can't afford a weave. So you don't know what to do. So you're going out there in the middle of the night sneaking up on skunks and meerkats and you're going to skin one of them and then spray it and then put that on your head like, oh i am fba I now see where that cool soup. all right anyway boy your trolling is boring let me get some more beef. thank you so much malone all right oh, lord <laughs> but you still need to explain the weeds man oh uh, well i already did and that would be your parents wearing their weeds but thank you malone you didn't say the same shit over and over all right, I wanted the the Indian guy up here. The Indian guy, he was up here. I wanted to hear what he had to say. The, the tethers, I tried to mix it up with him. They just start saying the same lame joke over and over again. Oh, Lord, they, they get real boring. All right. But tethers don't really have that much material. Yo, Munga, you in here, man? Yo, Munga, you in here? All right, Munga is not in here. Let me get Munga out of here. Boy, tethers are very jealous of FBA hairlines. Because, look, I've been all over Africa, and I've noticed if you go over to Africa, you go to uh, the barbershops over there, they got a bunch of pictures of us over there. All of the pictures of us, they all got pictures of, like, Nelly and 50 Cent and Mario and Amarion and Chris Brown. And they got a bunch of pictures, and that's who they emulate the hairlines, the hairstyles of. They emulate our hairstyles. Yeah. Yo, this is a clip of Tariq roasting some South African that's claiming that FBA hairlines aren't magic. You can't make this up. And Tariq wasn't lying when he was saying that they be in the barbershop asking for that ludicrous and the Nelly haircut. They out here trying to get haircuts from 2006. This is probably the barbershop that Akon went to. And they push his hairline all the way back behind his ears. Someone need to tell him he need to sue his barber. They doing a whole lot of projecting in these spaces now. Yeah, but I'm not going to say too much because I know YouTube be tripping. But anyway, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and comment down below. Make sure to follow me on Twitter. That's where I'm the most active on. And also make sure to follow me on Rumble. That's where I post videos in case they get taken down on here.